Hey everyone, let me just start off by giving a huge thank you and welcome to all of the new subscribers who have joined the channel recently. We are quickly approaching a thousand subscribers, which is so crazy, and I can't thank you guys enough for your support. I'll be posting a lot of gaming content here going forward, including gameplays and news updates, so I hope that you all enjoy it, and thank you so much again everyone. Yesterday, we received a new trailer for the upcoming game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, set to be released later this year. So let's go through it, break down the important scenes we saw, and look at the lore and connections that exist with what we know so far. The trailer begins with an opening scene that features the main character, Cal Cestus, running from the Inquisitor, the second sister, with Cal being rescued by his in-game mentor, Ciri, on what appears to be the planet Bracca. I believe we can confidently say it is Bracca, given the trailer released earlier this year during Star Wars Celebration, where Bracca was introduced as an inhospitable junkyard planet where the Scrapper Guild operates by breaking down the wreckage of starships and then selling the parts to the Empire. In this Cal's Mission trailer, we do see the same stormy environment that was tied to Bracca in the first trailer, and also a number of Republic Venators, thereby likely guaranteeing it is indeed Bracca. Given the press release during Celebration, noting that we meet Cal on Bracca, it's likely that this is our early introduction to the character of Cal, the second sister's mission in hunting Cal, and Cal's mentorship by Ciri, the Jedi Order 66 survivor who's now wielding a blaster. After a new character, appearing to be a pilot and an additional ally of Ciri and Cal, we get a glimpse of a few planets likely to be featured in Fallen Order, starting with a rocky, mountainous planet covered in snow, and then a flat, marsh-covered planet, appearing to have its own twin suns. Judging by the discussion between Ciri and Cal, and the fact that they're wearing the same clothes as the earlier scene, it seems as though this is the starting point to Cal's story with Ciri. After Ciri appears to recruit Cal, telling him they have a common enemy and a common cause, likely alluding to fighting the Empire, we see Cal travel to a large stone structure, which allows him to enter only after using the Force, or perhaps by sensing his Force sensitivity. In this way then, it could be a Jedi Temple of some kind, perhaps appearing similar to the Temple on Lothal. But once Cal enters, we hear what has to be the unmistakable sound of Darth Vader's breathing apparatus, causing us to only hope the Dark Lord will indeed be included within the game. Cal is then seen exploring the structure he previously entered, with the second sister explaining to someone we aren't able to get a look at that Cal's searching for something very precious to the Empire. She could very well be updating Vader here, which would make sense given that he is the leader of the Inquisitorius. But I think this ties into the theme of the trailer being Cal's mission, and the description noting Cal is searching the galaxy for something that will cause the Empire to stop at nothing to bring him down. In this regard, we see Cal uncovering an object that bears the symbol of the Jedi Order, a symbol seen in many places within canon, but standing out most for me upon the ancient Jedi text in possession of Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. It's important to note, this object with the Jedi symbol isn't likely on the same planet Cal used the Force in which to enter the stone structure, as it appears to be on Bracca in this trailer, and another planet as well in the previous trailer. It could be possible that Cal is searching for ancient Jedi artifacts, with there being multiple objects Cal has to collect from planet to planet, explaining why the Empire would be so interested in them. But this is one aspect I'm very curious about going into the game. Next, we see some quick shots of actual gameplay footage from the game, with lightsaber and melee combat against an Imperial Purge Trooper, and Cal both riding upon and fighting against a giant bat. We then see the second sister float down to confront the workers of the Scrapper Guild, including Cal, likely again on Bracca. Judging by the way the trailers have played out, I would again think that this is very early in the introduction stages of the game, with the second sister investigating the use of the Force by Cal seen in the previous trailer to save his fellow guild worker, with the Inquisitor trying to get to the bottom of the situation. Investigating likely instances of Jedi survivors is of course the primary role of the Inquisitorius, seen within the Rebels TV series and the Vader comics, and the Dark Temple comic has shown the second sister to be key in this role as well. I would believe this scene reveals Cal to be the Jedi present on Bracca, which then gives way to the chase between Cal and the second sister at the start of the trailer. It's at this point that we also get to see the Dayutin Inquisitor, the Ninth Sister. And very interestingly, unlike she appears in the Vader comic, she had not yet learned the lesson taught by Vader that would end up costing her her left eye. This leads me to believe that the game picks up very early in the Imperial Era, right after the aftermath of Order 66, as the issue that reveals the Ninth Sister's lost eye notes in the introduction that the Empire's reign has just begun. 
So again, I believe the game starts very early in the reign of the Empire. Personally, I'm a fan of this reveal, as I was hoping to see a lot more of the Inquisitors introduced in the Vader comic, and not solely the second sister within the game. How great would it be if the Inquisitor's failure to capture Cal is what caused Vader to take her eye, and note that she wasn't ready to hunt Jedi by herself. The trailer ends with a few more quick shots of the game's gameplay, but most importantly, with a duel taking place between Cal and the second sister. It appears as though the second sister is someone who significantly favors the use of only a single blade in lightsaber combat, as she not only solely uses it here against Cal, but also in her duel in the second issue of the prequel comic. Given all the instances of the Inquisitors wielding their unique double-blade spinning lightsabers, the use of the traditional single-bladed weapon is personally a welcomed addition. And that's the Cal's Mission trailer. Although we didn't get a ton of gameplay footage with this one, it does appear as though they're trying to expand what we know about the story quite a bit before the game launches later this year, which for me at least, is an aspect I'm looking forward to. But those are just my thoughts and analysis of the trailer. Please do not hesitate to let me know what you thought down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching everyone, and as always, may the Force be with you.